In Genesis 13, we read this story. It says, Then Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, and between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land before you? Separate yourself from me. If you take the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if you take the right hand, and I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and saw that the Jordan Valley was well watered everywhere, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. So Lot chose for himself all the Jordan Valley, and Lot journeyed east. Thus they separated from each other. I was thinking about this in the vein of Abraham already has much. So does Lot. They're going to divide the land. They need a lot of space because they're so wealthy. They need a lot of land. Abraham perhaps could be overruling Lot. He could say, I demand this land. I will choose and you will go the other way. I will pick. When I was a kid, we had a rule. Whoever cut the sandwich or cut the cookie or cut the cake didn't get to choose the other person chose which piece they wanted it was a way to ensure fairness right we would try to cut it like basically down the middle because we knew if one side was noticeably larger that meant we would get the smaller side and here abraham stands at the top and says look out at all of it and take whichever part you want i'll take the other this is an act of generosity it's also though an act of faith in god He believes God has already provided for him and will continue to provide for him. He is not nervous about which land to take or which land he might end up with. He's walking in confidence. And I want that confidence for me. I want to be able to see that too. I've been given much. I have much in life. I don't have a ton of needs. And that's true of many of us. If you're watching this on YouTube, almost by definition, you're doing well. And yet we often worry, we often have anxiety, we often have fears around our material well-being. Maybe today is a good day to pray about our wealth, but more importantly, our confidence in God. He has seen us this far and he will see us further. If we're members of congregations that are dwindling or nervous or particularly frightened on account of COVID, We take confidence in God. If we're not sure about our household income, our job, maybe we're furloughed, can we take confidence in God? If we're worried about our health and we're not doing things outside, we're being very careful and cautious and that's good and well, can we also be confident in God? I'm thinking about the confidence I have in God and asking for ever more confidence. Everything around me shows me why I should be confident. That's why people do practices like write three Thanksgivings every day because ultimately you start to see you have so much to be grateful for. It gives you confidence out in the world. And so I'm praying for the confidence of my family, my friends and my church and myself today. May you be confident. God is with you. God loves you, and God will continue to walk alongside of you.